well, okay, the, the question, question he, how to okay. defend BC and Hellions without uh, falling it, behind. It will be, it, it be a BC Hellion build, and she doesn't really know how to defend it. Okay, the most common build right now, so yeah. I'm personally really enjoying doing a roach push because the BC comes out very slowly and this is just so common at the moment at a high levels of play. I'm like, Matt, do a roach push. It can defend Hellbats and it can counter push. You can defend without that, but we'll go over the deets. Yeah? Simi Hoch is quite a defensive player as far as I know her, so I don't think she'll go for that. I mean, it, it's not an all-in. It's just like nine roaches and you just kind of go and assault them and it, 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 it does okay. So definitely something... I think it's it's good to try a, an aggressive play if you are a very defensive player once in a while. But if it's not your uh, your, your, your piece of uh, StarCraft, that's totally fine. So early on, uh, let's just go over a few little things. Um, OV speed is quite early, but not insanely early. That's a big expenditure, as is the Baneling Nest. And so is the queen count. Now, the problem here is we never built up a strong mineral base. So all these things are good, but I would like to see them only after we've fully saturated at least two mineral lines, and then you can afford to do this. Because even though we get five queens up early, and we get some good creep spread started, we're going to struggle to get the sixth and seventh queens, and we're going to struggle to replace zerglings, to build spore crawlers, or any of that stuff. So that's a real, real kick in the butt. And, um, and that just kind of sucks for us. So definitely something where prioritizing the early drone buildup of just maybe having a third queen started, maybe having like six zerglings. And once you got two bases, then you're like, cool, now we can build everything we need. Now let's get to the actual specifics of the defense, which is going to be near impossible because our economy is too far behind in this game. But that's okay. Let's imagine we had a bit more minerals. If you're playing against a Hellion build, you always build one spore in each base at 4 minutes 30. Now, that's a that's the timing I use is 4.30. So if you're not playing well, at GM, maybe 5 minutes. You can probably get away with a 5 minute spore in, both, in the bases. Well, uh, Just see what if, works in your games. If it's, a 3 CC, if it's a 3 CC build, then I guess the spores could be delayed. So yeah, so that's like an addendum. If you happen to scout only one gas and a very fast 3rd CC, you can delay those spores a lot. But mm -hmm. I've noticed most players are a little bit iffy with their scouting. So just as a general rule, just do 430 spores and think of it like as if you get really good at your scouting, you, you notice a, a delayed starport, they're on the one gas, they're going the very fast third CC, then, then you can do that as an adjustment. But just make sure the spores are the default. So even if we drop those at five minutes, we'd have those ready. And that blocks Liberator, it blocks, blocks Banshee. And it does help a lot against BCs. Now, when BCs actually arrive... The scary thing is if they're poking with Hellions on one side while the BC goes in the main. And that's why it's very good to have either some Banelings or some Roaches uh, with your Zerglings to deal with, say, Hellbats. Because they're going to try and spread you. Hellbats hit here. You've got to be able to deal with that. And you need to be able to send most of your Queens, hopefully, to deal with the BC. Now, if your back is up against the wall, you can't spare the units. You need the Queens at the front. You can defend it without pulling extra Queens. But you just need to be very good at pulling your drones away. And this is the number one thing you always want to do. Whenever you see a BC is run drones away. BCs will automatically target drones over spore crawlers. So even if you've got a spore in range, they don't even need to focus fire. It will shoot the drones. It will choose queens over drones. It always chooses units. But it's uh, still something you really want to deal with. So you always want to run those drones away. So this is actually lucky that the BC decided to go for the queens. Well, kind of, until all the queens died. Um, and then we do want to try and always stutter step with our queens to stay out of range of it. But, number one, that spore was poorly placed. Um, and whilst we do have spores up everywhere now, they were just a little bit late. And then, yeah, you basically just always run your queens away. And tr if the, the BC is going for your queens, just run behind a spore crawler. Whenever it's in spore range, it will die very quickly. But even here, I would have grabbed those drones and clicked them down on the opposite side of the mineral line. And you just want to be Probably. really on top of just running those drones away. And if it's still flying at you and it's not trying to stay out of spore range, I would grab the drones and just run them to a different base. As long as you keep drones out of range of those BCs, it will eventually go down. It is a hugely expensive uh, weapon. And if it doesn't kill, you know, 15 drones or so, you're actually usually still ahead if your opening was okay. From, from what I see, the, the, the queens aren't really hotkey, uh, at least not, not, not many of them. And... The early links were lost because they chased the Hellions. 
So if mm -hmm. the if, if the links were alive, the, all the queens could go for the BC, and the Hellions could stay in, in the sword to defend the the Hellion dive. Yeah, You're never good. never a move the links across the map like that. Much better on creep defensively. Um, good point. Good point. And with the creep queens, yeah, you always want to have that creep slash defense queen hotkey. It seems like we only had two on that hotkey. All our other queens weren't control grouped. So if you can control group those, you can quickly grab that key and you move it to the BC, it'll get cleaned up real fast. And that would make a big difference. Not to mention, like I said, if this spore had been in the mineral line, this BC would already be in the red. It would have taken a lot more damage if there was already a spore underneath it when it blinked in. So, um, awesome. From here, it's going to be, as I said, like, even if we defended really well, with like all the positioning and pulling drones away, with the economy we had, it was going to be so hard so so hard um and the opponent's gonna go mech behind it and this game will drag on so really good question there definitely two-part answer one was you know focus on your economy first of all with any build and number two four minute 30 spores versus any bc play uh always make sure you have at least five or six queens as standard um against terran to help out and just run drones away from the bcs to minimize damage that's it awesome so let's uh go find a new replay